this is Brenda. I just wanted to show you a makeshift sensory tent that the kids put together. Uh, so this is just out in my back street. Um, we just put four chairs and some old duvet covers and some blankets. You can do this also in your hallway or anywhere that your hypersensitive child uh, might be. You might want to have a little sensory break and shut off the senses. So I'm going to bring you inside and here we have some bits and pieces I just want to show you. Um, so we've got just some nice soft um, headphones. Uh, these are wireless ones. Uh, if you don't happen to have ear defenders, these are fine. We've got a nice soft little ear, uh, sorry, eye cover, and that blocks out the light and give the eyes a little break. So that's the eyes a little sensory break, the ears a little sensory break. We have some lovely, cosy, comfy cushions here to snuggle up on. And then we have a lovely, cosy, fleecy blanket. A nice cuddly toy in the tent as well. And then if we can just show here, we have just, this is just a little squeezy beanie bag, um, like or a little stress ball. Um, and here we have like a little um, quiet fidget, or you could give the, ch the child some plasticine to play with. Also here, I have a ball of wool. So if the child wanted to, to use that um, for a while. So it's a very, very stressful time for everyone, and particularly the hypersensitive child who might be dysregulated and out of sync. So if they want to have a little sensory break, this is for the over or hypersensitive child. You you can make a little makeshift tent, put it in the hallway. They might not want to be far away from you, so they might not want to be in their bedroom. But if they do, that's OK. So you can make it in your hallway or in a corner of the living room so that when the child has come down that sensory arousal ladder, I talk about that in the ladder of arousal and brain cam, um, they can come back in and join the family or continue on with homework or whatever is going on. OK, so that's just a little sample of some of the things that you can do at home and this in particular for the hypersensitive child. I will be giving a webinar this weekend Saturday morning for four hours on my Brain Camp program. If anybody wants to join me, um, email me brenda brendacasty.com and I can send you some information on that. So that's it for now and I will be back with more videos later.